Are you always taking care of everybody else first and forgetting to take care of yourself? Are you always building up everyone around you, neglecting to build yourself? Then this video is for you. We're going to work our abs and let's talk about it. I'm going to show you how forgetting to take care of yourself is just like me forgetting to work my abs for the last two weeks. I literally have forgotten to work this area, the most important area in my body, my core. That is exactly what we do when we build every other muscle around us. I mean, every other relationship, we take care of family, friends, coworkers, children, and we forget the most important part, our core. How do you know that's important? Throw your back out, like I did two years ago. I was literally on the floor and I had to call my daughter from work so that she could help me get up. And it didn't matter how strong my arms were, my legs were, my elbows, my knees, without my back and without my stomach functioning correctly, I could not move. And that is exactly what we do in our friendships and our relationships and with coworkers and children. We build everybody else up. We take care of them. We pour into them emotionally. We pour into them financially, physically, and we neglect ourselves. And so now in this video, this is a struggle for me because I have not touched or even looked at my abs probably since the last video I did on abs. I just have totally forgot about it and that's what we do. We totally forget about ourselves and what we need. You are the core of all of your relationships and all the people that you deal with. You have to target yourself. Just like with muscles and working out, when people want to work a certain area, they will tell them you need to target those muscles. If you want your legs to look a certain way, your arms, you have to target them, which is what I did for my entire body, except my abs over the last couple of weeks. So you have to put a target on yourself. But what we do, especially as empaths, we target every single person around us that has a need. As soon as they sound like they have a need, we're ready to pour into them, to give to them our time, our money, and our energy. But that target needs to be on you first. It's not that you can't help people, but you have to be first. And I threw my back out because I got up too fast. And that is what we do. As soon as somebody has a need, they have a request, a desire, something that they want, we are quick to say yes, instead of taking time to say, okay, is this gonna benefit me right now? Is this a good time for me right now? Maybe the answer is yes, but not right now. Or is it just straight up no? We are too quick to say yes, instead of pausing to make sure that this is good for our core. And if you fail to do this, you're going to end up weak and stuck. And everyone around you is going to continue to grow and get stronger because of the energy that you're pouring into them. You're spotting everybody else at the gym. Every machine, I need help, I need help. You're spotting everyone. But as you go from each machine, helping each person, you're not getting stronger. You're still weak. And when I was laying on that floor, helpless, and it happened twice that month, I remember it was because I had got into a car accident and so I was having some back issues. There was no one around me to help me. No matter how strong everything else around me on my body was, my arms, my legs, I was still helpless and there was no one there to help me. And that's exactly what you do. Everybody around you is strong because of you. You've been spotting them. You've been helping them lift the heavy loads. But when you need somebody, no one is there. I may have dropped the ball over the last two weeks when it came to my abs, but over the last two or three years, I've chosen to put my core first, what's most important to me and for me. Now check this out. Sometimes with people, you do indirectly help yourself, just like indirectly, I'm sure, I touched on my abs while working other body parts. But here's the thing, while you're talking to them and giving them advice, yeah, you may hear some little nuggets in there, get a few crumbs while you're feeding other people. You know, you lick the spoon, get a little taste, but that's all you get while they're getting the substance of who you are. They're getting healthier because of what you're feeding them. And now you've got all these strong parts working around you, lying there on my back. I had all these strong parts, strong legs, strong arms, strong calves, but a weak core. And that was on me. That was on me to surround myself with these type of people, continuing to make them stronger, but when I needed some emotional support, when I needed someone to be there when I went through a death in my family, when I went through heartbreak, where were these people? And lastly, sometimes you're feeding these people and they're spitting it out. They'll eat it while they're talking to you, but they will spit it out. You will help them work out and build themselves in different areas in their life, not just physically. And they go right back to doing what they were doing when they're not around you. They come back to you to get a fix. So both of you are actually weak. 
because you're not getting that same time, energy, and attention that you so deserve. And they're just getting it from you like a quick fix. They're not even working out like that unless they're around you. They spend an hour on the phone with you eating all this healthy wisdom. Then they get on the phone with someone else for another two hours eating a bunch of junk food and mess. The opposite of everything that you just poured into them. Self-neglect will leave you weak and stuck. Nothing and no one is more important than the core of who you are. You've heard the oxygen mask or the life jacket analogy. Save yourself first. 